All right, what's up everybody? So by now we've run our analysis on our project and we want to start interpreting the results. So by default, SRAM brings you to the graphical tab on your uh, toolbar and it, it actively puts you on your selection tool. So now is the time we can look at you know deflections or any translations within our structure. So let's go from the third one from the top, deflection tool. Okay, we saw some green but there isn't really anything showing. And it's not really gonna show in a spring because everything is horizontal. We don't really have any real um, deflection per se. This tool is a little bit more um, visual when we're dealing with a frame or a beam. So for now, just know that it's there and that it does have an effect, but we can't really see it because we're dealing with a spring. And then we can look at things like your shear diagram tool, your moment diagram tool, but again, for a spring, this stuff's not really that exciting. So let's just click on what we know is gonna be there, the reactions tool, third, fourth from the top, reactions tool. And this will show a negative five reaction force on our node number one, and then a negative five reaction force on our node number three. All right, so that's about as much detail I'm gonna get into with the graphical tool for now. More importantly, we wanna look at some actual results, some numbers. So the numerical side, we want to check out our numerical results on the shortcuts bar. So select it and lo and behold, we're going to get some numerical results. Weird, I know. So we've got an X translation, Y translation, Z rotation. And because we've only got, we're dealing with a spring, right? So there's going to be no translation, no rotational translation. So Z, all zero. And we only have an X force. So the Y translation is going to be zero. And we've got no translation allowed on the X node and nothing also allowed on the third node. Or sorry, on the one node and the third node. So we've got zero and zero. And um, then obviously the second node is gonna have 25 millimeter translation in the positive direction, which makes sense because we're throwing a 10 kilonewton force on the second node, which is gonna move it 25 mils. Um, and then we can also look at the reaction spreadsheet. That was just on, on the uh, joint displacement spreadsheet. Now we want to look at the reaction spreadsheet. So in this similar uh, format, it'll show you your x-force, your y-force, and your moments. We've only got forces in the x-direction, so it makes sense to only have support forces on the x-direction as well. My next video, we're going to look at how we want to print these out on paper and make it look presentable.